Hello there, Froyo again with another weekly football picks video for week 10 and a recap of week 9. Uh, let's get right into it. Probably my worst week so far. I went 9 and 5 this past week. Uh, Alright, Thursday night. We had Niners at Arizona. Pick Niners to win, they won 20 25. Arizona made a pretty good game out of this, surprisingly, but I uh, got that one right. London, last London game of the year was Houston playing Jacksonville. I picked Jacksonville to win, and they lost 26 to 3. And Minshew Mania is officially over for now, unless Foles gets hurt again, because Foles is coming back after a bye week to start. So we'll see what happens there, but you know, at least Minshew had a pretty good year for a guy that no one even heard of until he, he started playing. Excuse me. Sorry about one medicine. It makes me drowsy and it's fantastic. Washington Buffalo. Pick Buffalo win. They won 24 9. No surprise there. Washington is one of the bottom three teams in the league. Nothing much to say about that other than they suck. Minnesota, Kansas City. I picked Minnesota to win this game and they lost 26 23. Kudos to uh, the Chiefs. And, uh, you know, Matt Moore played well enough and they found a way to win this game and it looks like Mahomes will be back going forward. So good for them. Jets at Miami. I picked Miami to win their first game of the year, and they did, 26-18. I mean, the Jets are just hysterically bad. I mean, to lose to Miami is just impressive. And the Jets beat the Cowboys. Remember that. Their one win this year is against the Cowboys. That's the NFL for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, no, good for, I guess good for the Dolphins. Uh, for the players, players are probably happy, but the fans and the owner, uh, management isn't. Chicago Philly picked Philly to win. They won 20-14. Trubisky still sucks. Breaking news there. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Tennessee, Carolina. Pit Carolina when they won 30 to 20. Carolina keeps rolling. They just added Cam Newton to the IR, so it is uh, officially Kyle Allen's team. Detroit, Oakland. I picked uh, Detroit to win. Oakland won 31 24. Credit to Oakland. Staying alive in the playoff race and uh, having a solid year. Detroit, just uh, their, their early season. Hope, hopefulness is uh, pretty much dissipated at this point. Stafford's having a good year, though, so there is that. Tampa Bay at Seattle. I picked Seattle to win, and they won 40 34 in overtime. Credit Tampa Bay made a game out of this. I still think Seattle is overrated, but you know, as long as Russell Wilson's play, they have a chance to win any game. But the rest of that team is just not very good. Cleveland at Denver. I picked Denver to win, they won 24 19. Oh, man, the Browns, yeah, they're going to playoffs this year. They're going to Super Bowl contenders, right? They'll be lucky to win five games this year. What a, uh, what a dumpster fire team. It's like, oh, no, Beckham even playing anymore at this point. Like, he has done absolutely nothing. Maybe maybe Eli might have more to do with his success than we think. I mean, it's hard. I know it's hard to believe, but he's, he ain't doing shit there. Chargers at home taking on the Green Bay Packers. I picked Packers to win, and they lost 26 to 11. Chargers came out of this one. Oh, God, excuse me. Chargers came out of this one and played very well from start to finish and shut down the Packers offense. Yeah, maybe it was just a bad week for the Packers, but credit to the Chargers. They had a good game. <clears throat> New England, Baltimore. Take Baltimore win. They went 37 20. Oh! So that's what the defense does when they play an offense that is, you know, an actual legitimate NFL offense. Wow, that's crazy. I and mean, Patriots are going to win their division. They're probably going to get at least the second seed, probably the number one seed in the AFC. But that team is not as good as their record says. Not even close. Brady, yeah, he's piling up yards, but they're kind of empty yards, and he, he can't throw the ball farther than 15 yard yards down the field. Like, his only completions down the field are 50-50 balls where his receivers bail him out. James White had a crazy catch and bailed him out. A running back bailed him out on a freaking... That the ball that Earl Thomas didn't play, play, played awful. He didn't even try to. He didn't. He didn't play the ball very well at all that possession. But uh, whatever. Baltimore won. Credit to them. Another good game from Lamar Jackson. Uh, Dallas at the Giants. Dallas won 37-18. Picked on the win. Nothing much to say there. Giants aren't very good. Their defense is really not good. And uh, you know, we them boys. They'll be saying that even though it was another bad team they beat. And the Colts game. Indianapolis at Pittsburgh. Picked Colts to win. They lost 26-24. Jacoby got hurt. No T.Y. 
Sorry, sorry to hurt. <sighs> Number one corner didn't play. I mean, it's just a year of adversity for the Colts. The fact that we're five and three right now is absolutely as actually a miracle. With luck retiring, you know, two weeks before the season started, and just the countless injuries we've had every week, we're losing more and more bodies. We're down to our freaking fourth string receiver at this point. Is playing is our number one receiver. But credit to Pascal, he's been playing awesome. But the rest of the receivers ain't doing shit. And Campbell finally showed some flashes, and of course he breaks his hand. So just another injury. Jacoby looks like he should be all right. You know, I would rest him against the Dolphins. I would risk it. Hoyer looks good enough that he can beat the Dolphins, and give another week for. Jacoby get healthy for the playoff push, but I don't know. If he can play, he can play, but he he, he doesn't really run a whole lot, but he runs enough and is, he uses his mobility in the pocket for a big part of his game. He's very Roth Roethlisberger-esque in that, in that way. He just doesn't rape women, but, you know, the, allegedly. Anyway, 195 on the Week 10. Thursday night, we got the Chargers at Oakland. That should be a decent game. Chargers off their best win of the season. Oakland off a really good win, too. At home, I think Oakland wins this game. Should be a decent Thursday night game, though. Detroit at Chicago. Oh, 200 former teams in the same division. I don't know. Excuse me. Detroit's offense has been playing really good this year so far. If I feel like Chicago's going to find a way to win this game. Both these teams aren't aren't really alive to playoff hunt, but Chicago can still make a run of it just because of that defense. I think just Chicago wins that game. Baltimore, Cincinnati. Ha! Cincinnati, the only winless team in the league, will stay winless. Baltimore wins. Buffalo, Cleveland. Buffalo will win. Buffalo has a very favorable schedule down the stretch, and you know, this, this, is a, this is a game they should win and keep their uh, playoff hopes very strong. Looking like they're going to be a solid uh, five seed at the wild card. Kansas City at Tennessee. Pretty sure Mahomes is going to play this one. Tennessee is a solid team, but I think Chiefs, just with Mahomes back, they're going to find a way to win this game. Atlanta at New Orleans. Oh, boy. At New Orleans, the Saints are going to blow out the Falcons here. The Falcons uh, have mailed in this season. It's over. That defense ain't going to be able to do anything against that against the Saints at, at New Orleans. Oh, battle of the, the Jersey teams. I mean, I'm sorry, the New York teams, even though they're playing Jersey. Giants at the Jets. Look for Giants win this game. The Jets just lost the Dolphins. But it wouldn't surprise me by the way. These teams are both pretty terrible. But at least Daniel Jones has, you know, has some promise to him. Arizona, Tampa Bay. Excuse me. I think Arizona wins this game. Tampa Bay, you know, it should be a good game because both defenses aren't very good. But Arizona wins. Carolina at Green Bay. Ooh, that should be a good one. I think Green Bay bounces back at home, though. But it should, should be a good game. Look for McCaffrey having a good game. and uh, But I, I think the Packers win that one. Rams at Pittsburgh. Rams with a bye week. I think the Rams win this game. You know, Pittsburgh just beat the Colts. But you know, we, were, we were down to our third-string quarterback, basically, and had countless injuries, missing starters left and right, and still had every chance to win that game. But Minitary, I didn't even touch on that because I'm just sick of talking about it. The guy needs to retire. I love him for all he's done, but it's time. It's time. But the Rams will win that game. Minnesota at Dallas. Don't think Thielen's going to play. Pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure he's already been ruled out. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think Minnesota finds a way with this game on the road. Even Dallas home field advantage is not really a home field advantage. Monday night. Ooh, Seattle at San Francisco. I think San Francisco stays undefeated. I think Seattle. It's not as good as the record is. I mean, I know Russell Wilson's amazing, but he's about to face his steepest task in that defense. But for Niners to win that game. Scores this game, Seattle, San Francisco. 20. Hmm. I say it's a field goal range of quite a bit. Three field goals, 16. Dallas, Minnesota. Uh, these are two de decent defenses. 24. 23. Should be a really close game, but I think Minnesota wins. Who we'll scored most points this week? I mean, the Colts play Miami, but we might have Hoyer, so it's hard to say that. Oh, Baltimore. Baltimore against Cincinnati. Yeah. Fewest points this week. It might be Cleveland against Buffalo. Hmm. I 
I could say Cincinnati, but I just think Baltimore's defense isn't as great as it is. It's not a very good defense as it was in years past. Uh, I think it, I think Cleveland might score a few points this week. All right, save our picks. Oh, and the Colts game we got to pick yet. Colts at home against Miami. Uh, well, there's not much to say about this. Hoyer, the Destroyer, or Obi-Wan Jacoby, either one should be able to beat them. Pick up the Colts to win this game. We need to use this week as a week to get healthy and just uh, lean on Mac. And, uh, yeah, hopefully Jacoby's okay. If he can't play, I have, I have enough confidence in Hoyer that he can beat Miami. Plus, Miami doesn't want to win any more games. But, uh, yeah, Colts win. Save our picks there. And that's it. That's it for this week. Thanks for everybody watching, as usual. Uh, I'll be back next week. Uh, I think I have much more to say. My lack of effort is just more and more because, you know, the viewership is just not there, especially when it comes to streaming. But I'm, try I'm just trying to push through it. But, uh, like I said, I love you all. Take, take care. Fuck the Patriots. That's all I got to say. Peace out.